Volvo XC70 2007-17 On February 2, 2007 Volvo debuted the third generation for model year 2008. Based on the Volvo P3 platform it shared numerous elements as well as general styling with the second generation Volvo S80. Compared with its predecessor, rear seat legroom was increased by 2 cm, 0.79 in and a revised tailgate design increased the load area volume by 55 liters. The V70 was offered for the first time with 4 and 6 cylinder engines. The high performance V70 RAWD models were discontinued with this third generation, only a mostly cosmetic car design package was made available. After model year 2011, Volvo discontinued sales of the V70 in North America instead marketing the FWD variant of the XC70. The Sensus infotainment system from the Volvo XC60 was made available in 2011 for the V70 and XC70. For 2012 the V70 and XC70 received a minor facelift. The front received a redesigned bumper with chrome accents, the Volvo logo on the front grille was enlarged. The indicators in the side mirrors were redesigned and changed to LED and the rear light cluster redesigned. New optional alloy wheels and exterior paint options were added. As part of a joint venture with Vattenfall, a Swedish energy company, Volvo converted two Volvo V70 to diesel-electric plug-in hybrid demonstrators that have been in field testing in Borg, Sweden, since December 2009. Vattenfall offered customers participating in this trial a supply of renewable electricity generated from wind or hydropower. This test allowed participants to experience the all-electric range at low temperatures, which has been a disadvantage of plug-in vehicles. The V70 FEV test car uses an 11.3 kWh lithium-ion battery pack. As reported by the test drivers, the V70 plug-in hybrid demonstrators have an all-electric range between 20 and 30 km, 12 and 19 miles. The demonstrators were built with a button to allow test drivers to manually choose between electricity or diesel engine power at any time. The first phase of the field trial ended in June 2010 and included 16 families, all employees of Volvo or Vattenfall, who had the car for 1.5 weeks to one month. A second phase of the test was to run from July to December 2010 with Vattenfall employees in Gtborg and Stockholm.